Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on today's report. I got up very early this morning, just uh, waiting on the Lord, wanting to know what he wanted us to cover on the news today. Uh, there's a lot going on. The BRICS summit, the tragedy of those in Maui. Uh, we also have breaking news of a plane crash in, uh, involving the head of the Wagner Group. Then we have our brothers and sisters in Pakistan, their homes and churches attacked. A lot going on in the world today. But first of all, the Lord has given me a word for the church today. So I'm going to be reading that. And I'm going to be coming back a little bit later with some more news. But the title of this Rima word is, My Church is Filled with Sleepy Joes. Now, Sleepy Joe, it's an insulting nickname that President Donald Trump, he has referenced many times of Joe Biden, a famous internet meme. And of course, uh, President Biden's age has become highlighted, especially after he fell asleep during a TV interview. And his ability to serve as our president is clearly being called into question around the nation and, and internationally. He's become the, the butt of many jokes because of his age. And in the past few days, a very pathetic response to those suffering in Maui. But the Lord, he has something to say. And he wants to say to his church today, he is asking the question, why are you imitating your president's fatigue. You too are on vacation as though you are walking along the beach with not a care in the world. Your nation is on fire and collapsing and souls are headed to eternal fire. Where is my church? Why won't my church show up for worship and praise and bringing their first fruits to the altar of my kingdom? My American church is filled with criticism for President Sleepy Joe Biden, but where is your alertness? Where are you at the crack of dawn? Are you reading my word? Are you in prayer? Are you taking care of the needy? Are you preparing your heart to take communion and to join other believers for corporate worship? Where are you on Sunday? or any other day of the week that my children gather. I am testing my chosen few, and you are not doing well since the last lockdown. Will you fare better during the next one? Will you take a stand for righteousness and gather with others to pray? Will you be ready to take my word to the streets and proclaim my glory? my name. My name is the name above all others, and yet my children are searching for everything but me. There are more versed in their recreational activities, cooking, camping, prepping, but not preparing as the five wise virgins. USA, get ready because your land is under judgment and yet you know little about me because you do not spend time getting to know me through my holy book. You are offended when others fast. You cannot sit still for even five minutes to pray. You do not follow the patterns in my holy word. Strongholds in your families can be demolished through faith filled fasting and prayer. But you love your food more than you love obedience. You love your sitcoms and your YouTube videos more than drawing nigh to me, USA. USA, the world does not revolve around you any longer. I am calling all Americans to repent and turn to me. You are on borrowed time. You have so little time before the Antichrist rises up in your land. It is imperative that you be strengthened in the things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And as you look at how you are spending your free time, are you spending it on building your faith, hope, and love? Or are you spending it on worthless activities? 
My American church is filled with sleepy Joes. And today I am asking you to rebuke the spirits of slumber and procrastination and rebuild the walls of your hearts to be able to withstand the evil in the days to come. 80-year-old people are expected to sleep. They are on the downward slope of their lives. But you, my church, what is your excuse? Have you not been given fresh air and a pleasant place to sleep? Do you not have my word to guide you and steer you in the ways to live? Do not forsake the assembly of believers and do not rush through your daily prayers. I am waiting. I am watching. I am very concerned about the lukewarmness of the American church. Return to your first love and strengthen your foundation. You are flittering and fluttering around like a bird caught in a tornado. Focus, I say, focus on the prize. I will soon be coming in the skies. Your Lord and your Savior, Jesus the Christ. Well, that's the word that I received this morning. A very strong message from a holy king and father. And uh, it really reminds me of the passage in Matthew where Jesus was about to be arrested and he pleaded with Peter, James, and John in that garden of Gethsemane to watch and pray. And he pleaded with them. So that, that passage in Matthew chapter 26, I uh, encourage you to take that passage to your quiet time with the Lord today and allow him to examine your heart as you read through the word of God. Allow the magnifying glass of the Holy Spirit to really show you where you are. Well, friends, that's what the Lord wanted us to share today. We bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we'll be back again later. Thank you.